Good morning, everyone. I haven't filmed a video in so long. I haven't picked up the camera in so long. Hi, let me explain, yeah? Don't be too angry at me just yet. Let me just explain the vibe, okay? Guys, if any of you think you're getting curtain bands, please don't. They just are so annoying, like honestly. Blow dry them and they look so nice for a second and then they go back to being annoying again. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you will not know what's been happening recently, but I had an operation on my foot. Um, and this is my first day back at home. Uh, I came home last night and I just woke up in my own boudoir and it was so nice. I've been at my family's house because I had an operation on my foot. Um, and yeah, I just this is my first time at home. This vlog, I'm um, apologizing in advance. I don't know how interesting it's going to be because I am on crutches at the moment, which is fun. And even though everything in the UK is opening up today, literally like today, I can't walk, like I can't go anywhere and I'm in quite a lot of pain actually, like my foot is really swollen and the bruising is like so bad, I would show you but genuinely I think it is quite like squeamish and, and not nice so um, I'm not going to show you my bruised and bloody foot. But I still wanted to vlog, check in and say hi and um, yeah just see how you guys are doing, it's been a while so I just woke up, my face is so puffy because I ate so much last night. Uh, I'm just going to make a cup of tea this morning and then um, I'll probably check in with you again tomorrow. <gasps> no! Oh, wait a second. Before I go, I was going to say I'm going to charge my camera and then start the vlog tomorrow. But before I go, last week I was meant to upload my office makeover vlog. And I didn't because I was rushing it so hard to make sure everything was done um, because I knew once... I had this boot on my foot. I'm, I'm barely able to walk right now, like I kind of shuffle about the crutches. So lifting stuff and putting stuff on the walls would just be impossible. So I thought I would get it all done. I did film it, but there wasn't enough footage for it to be a vlog. So realistically, the most important part of that room is showing you it and linking where everything is from. So I'm gonna do that now, just so you can see it because it does look a little bit different to when I last showed it and then We'll start the vlog tomorrow. Like 10 minutes. I'm gonna shuffle over to the office and show you what it looks like in here because I think it looks really pretty. And I took in a lot of your advice saying that if I am gonna make your office, then still make it like fashion y and girly that I can film in here. A lot of you guys loved the clothing rack, so that is still in here. So let me give you a tour. Like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk in. This is like a little overview. I love it so much in here. I'm so happy of how it turned out. Moving the room around more than like actually giving it a makeover. But I'm going to talk you through where everything is from. Sorry if it's a bit shaky. Obviously, I'm like hobbling on one foot right now. So it might not be the most stable footage in the world. But just bear with me. I'll start off with the mirror because I always get so many questions about it. It's from William and Woods. And I always say this is a forever home mirror. Because it's just so heavy and so gorgeous. And I just feel like regardless of where I end up, I'm going to have this mirror in my house because I really really like it. It was really affordable considering the weight of it and how gorgeous it is so I'm going to link that down below. And the people's favourite, the um, clothing rail. This is actually from Ikea and it was literally like five pounds. I've had it for years and what I've put on here is just some spring stuff at the moment. There's just a print from Decenio in the background there. Um, but what I've been doing is anything that as a paid post and I need to shoot it. I've been putting it on this rack so I know where it is and then it's really easy to get done. And down below here we have some secret stock in these boxes and then two of my favorite bags that um, I've been wearing every day at the moment just so they're in easy reach. There's a piece of clothing on this clothing rail that is by me. Let me know which one you think it is. I'm so intrigued. It's very different to what you're used to seeing from me but let me know. The business vlogs are going to be starting in a week's time from now, I think. So we'll speak more about it then. But comment down below. I'm actually interested to see which one you think it is. And then over here, I wasn't sure about these at first, but I really, really love them. They are from a store called Hey Loose, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, and I love artwork like this. So it's just two like acrylic skateboards. I absolutely love the look of these. And then, of course, my made chair. Um, below it. I thought it went really well. This is just like a spare neon heart that I'm trying to find a place. Okay, then this, my neon sign. You guys already know I love 
a neon sign obsessed with neon signs so i feel like i definitely know what is good to bad by now i love this their customer service was amazing how clean the lines are are perfect they gave me a free neon sign i think it comes with every purchase so i was really really impressed it also comes with a remote so you click it on i went for the white one just to try and keep me awake at night because the last one i had was really warm tone and it was so like comforting and warm to look at that it genuinely made me tired when i was working so i went with white this time and this one says serve more to sell more and it basically just means always give more than what you give out this is being covered that wire but um they're not coming to do that for a couple weeks from now but i wanted to show you it anyway i think it looks so nice in here on that wall i still have my little prints on the floor i love those um i don't think i'm gonna hang them i'm gonna leave them there then over in this corner we still have my plant that i got from home sense i can't link it because home sense doesn't have a website but yeah it was from home sense then i have my 100k plaque which feels like forever ago now um and it was that was like what two or three years ago now and then that little cabinet there is stuff that i've been sent and i need to shoot it's all in one place perfect and then this down here is actually stuff that um i'm giving away so every time a friend comes over or family they go through this and they just take what they want which is fun in the middle of the room we have this rug which again i can't link annoyingly it's from Donnell, but they've taken it off the website for some reason it's the softest rug ever i'm obsessed we have a zara package because i'm doing a zara haul i have to film that as soon as my boot comes off hopefully i will film that haul um and then this desk i was actually looking everywhere for this curved glass desk and they were so expensive they were like six seven hundred pounds i'm being realistic i don't know how long i'll want a desk in here you guys know i change my mind all the time so i got a little bit savvy with it and i went on ebay and i found a company a glass company that makes these and it was a hundred pounds so i'm really really happy with it. the quality is amazing obviously just a white one to go with the room but let me hobble back and show you like an overview i am honestly obsessed with this room i spend so much time in here so easy to get work done but it still feels like fashiony and cute you know and that desk is actually pretty light so i just moved that to the side and then we have a little filming setup that is my office tour i hope you guys like it so when the business vlogs do start you'll probably be seeing this room the most because i really try and separate work from um just life and my home especially with lockdown and having to work a lot more from home so i spent a lot of time in here i actually have started filming those i just don't know when i'm gonna upload them because i've been filming so much recently um but yeah this is the office ow i'm gonna charge my camera because i literally haven't picked it up for so long that it's out of battery even though i just charged it which is not a great sign <laughs> trick to anyone moving out i'm trying to navigate their way through life <laughs> over the next couple days years weeks months flipping an egg is risky business it can ruin everything okay you're not at home anymore no one's going to judge you if you do stuff like this take the plate you're going to be eating on put it over the top and it will slowly cook your egg oh so perfectly without you having to F around with flipping it. Okay, so I'm getting ready for the meeting I have in a second. And I'm trying to work out the setup because I really need this up um, like this. Ow! Oh God, look at my hair. My hair is still wet and I haven't put any product in it so it's super dry. Um, but I just don't, I don't have time. Okay, I don't have time to walk from here to the bedroom um leaving conditioner in my hair and come back again because it takes a while okay and i just don't have the time i also don't have the time to blow dry it and nor do i want to actually i quite like the cute wave it needs some moisture but i just don't have time this meeting is for a project that i am working on tirelessly oh my god the weather is so nice today it's really annoying i can't show you my view as well as i used to be able to because they put a massive sign of the building name right outside my window and obviously it's really unsafe to show 
everyone where you live like i doubt any of you guys will but i don't know who comes on here to watch these like you know i just don't know we are starting i do not look like i should be in a meeting right now this is not okay quotes and the affirmation playlist like a real community like feel to it from Frankie's Bikini. Their stuff is so comfy. I really want to show you the rest of the collection because it's so soft. But this hoodie, I'm going to link it down below. It comes with matching joggers, which I'm not wearing right now. Also, let me know how you're feeling about coming out of lockdown and that kind of thing. I have very um, mixed feelings about it. This is a really deep conversation to have at 6am. Let me, let me sit down really quickly. Maybe that would help the topic of the vlog while my tea is like brewing in the background i hate to be that person to say that they oh my god look how puffy my face is because i just woke up to say that they enjoyed lockdown or like they came out spiritually better because of it because i know how hard it's been on people it's been hard on me as well obviously like a majority of the time i live by myself i have loved lockdown because it has made me realize how much more i want to do things for myself um, I don't know whether it's just the industry that I'm in, I think it is, but there's this like constant need to not be entertaining, not be entertaining, but um, to constantly be doing stuff all the time. Like if I'm ever in a, an event or a dinner or um, just with other people who are like models or Instagrams or YouTube, that kind of thing, there's always something happening, which I thought I enjoyed a lot more than I actually did. Like, I did always question it um, of whether I enjoyed being and doing stuff all the time. Don't get me wrong, I love traveling and I love the stuff that I do, but at the same time, this constant need to always be doing something, I think is quite unhealthy. And stopping for a second has made me realize how much I love a really chilled, laid back life like honestly i love traveling and i love like nice dinners and going out and that kind of thing but i really enjoy being at home like i really do like i love movie nights i love just getting comfy at home and i think i was almost trying to convince myself um over the last couple of years that i really enjoy this like fast-paced life but i don't um so this week's topic of the vlog it's a discussion about your personality what you like and whether you feel like you're true to what you like or are you convincing yourself slightly that you're enjoying stuff so yeah i again like, i don't know if this is just because of like instagram and youtube and also when i used to model it's kind of part of your job to travel so it's just it's just how life is but let me know i'm very intrigued also i don't know if any of that made sense because i'll say it one more time it's 6 30 in the morning i was just about to get in the shower pretty sure my whole ass cheek was showing at 10. Oh, some packages arriving the majority of them are included in the business vlog which was really fun but um I just got a really nice package and it looks like it's from Tom Ford. And the reason why it's in it looks like it's from Tom Ford is because there's a huge Tom Ford sign. You didn't see on Instagram, I actually did a Tom Ford campaign last week, which was insane. Like, honestly, it's one of my, my proudest moments this year. And I'm very, very happy with how it came out. And the team were all so amazing. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I'm going to... I'm gonna leave my Instagram down below. Come and say hi. So this, it was for their new collection, and they have very, very kindly sent me 
some stuff for it. Oh, guys. How adorable is this? Where's my phone? Wow. Oh my God. Tons of makeup. Oh, how stunning is that? It is a Tom Ford case. And again, I was actually looking for one of these. One that was so expensive from Dior. Now I've got this, there's really no excuse for me to buy it. So this is the evidence in the vlog. If you see that other cosmetic case, yeah, suddenly pop up, you could all shout at me because there was really no need for me to buy it. Okay. And yeah, now I'm gonna, oh, that looks so bare. It had really beautiful flowers all along here for my birthday. But now I'm gonna sit with my little footsie um, and just try and rest up as much as I can. Doctor said literally one more week of being really patient, not moving for more than 10 minutes a day, which is just insane when you actually think about it. Um, and that it'll give me the best chance for recovery. So I've put a little socky on her that the nurse is very kindly made for me on the day because I can't get socks <laughs> for my cast. Um, but yeah, not long now. I think in the next vlog, actually, you'll see me having it taken off. 